everyone today in this video i'll be showing you how to create a report with step by step procedure and also some basic rules and guidelines for beginners before starting programming i've done a brief explanation on reports and it's in my previous video if you haven't watched it yet please do watch it to create a report first we need to open sap easy access and then enter the transaction sc8 38 sc 38 and then click on enter then it will take us to a app editor first and most important thing to keep in mind while writing while creating a report is naming conventions always the re report name that means program name should begin with z that is that the name we give for the report should be short and meaningful. It should be less than 25 characters. Try avoiding some special characters like at the rate, hash, dollar, percentile, cap, ampersand, star, and also spaces. Uh, instead of using special characters or spaces, use camel case or underscore. For example, here in our case, uh, I'm giving like set underscore basic underscore report. Okay. Then click on create. Then a program attribute window will pop up. In that enter the title. The title is nothing but short description like my first report original language will be en by default the type will be executable program for executable program we don't need any uh, t code i mean separate transaction code to run the program these all are not unnecessary just uh, give the title and the type click on save uh, to create i'm using local app local object to save this program see now uh, this is the code edit editor area uh, where we write all the code in, in this source code I'll give you another tip for understanding purpose always create the report as simple as possible so when we pass this report to managers for submission or any other developer to finish their part or send it to a tester guy to fix our bugs then they can understand it easily rather than writing it more complicatedly Coming back to the report, as we can see on the screen, the first five lines are commented. It is preferable to add more comment so that at any point of the report, if we are lost, then uh, through these comments, we can understand. To add a comment, always use, to, to comment the whole line, we need to use asterisk symbol at the beginning. To comment at the middle of the line, we can we can use double quotes. See, hi, this is commented. If if a sentence is in is in ash color, it's commented. Okay. To comment the whole line, we need to put asterisk star symbol in the beginning of the sentence or statement. Okay, that's how we comment the whole line. In every program, uh, report program will be the first name, first statement. Uh, you see, whenever you create a report, you will always see this report statement and the name of your report. See the report name that we created here. Every line in the report is called a statement. This line is called a statement. This line is called a statement. This whole line. 
and every statement must end with the period. Now in this report, I'll show you how to display a sentence in the report by using a uh, right keyword that is say right right is a keyword all the keywords will be appeared in the blue blue color uh, ink okay right is a keyword uh, we can display any sentence in the output form uh, to display the uh, to display anything we need to use right keyword following uh, the sentence to be appeared in the output needs to be inside the codes that is codes inside i'll be showing hello world and the sentence statement needs to end with period okay we we always need to to execute this program we always need to follow four steps they are save, check, activate, check, act, check, activate, and then execute. We need to save the code we have written. Check it if we have any errors. If no errors, then act, activate the report and then execute for the output. See the output. To save this reports we can always use control s see the report name got saved okay uh, to check the uh, report we need to do control plus f2 no syntax errors all or also we can use this icon here check no, no syntax errors. If any errors, we need to rectify it and again we need to save it and again we need to check it. To activate, we need to use Ctrl plus F3 or this icon. Activate Ctrl plus F3 or this icon. Just continue. Click on continue. It got activated. See? And then execute. To execute, we can press F8 or this icon. See, hello world. Once it's, ex it's executed. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next video.